Good enough with those things again for tuning into yet another video of Miss coming at you live from the West Coast yet again, San Jose, California. So I am attempting to get my wheel off to go get it replaced. The tire, that is. So you guys can see I've been riding for a little bit. You're starting to see the wires. It's not safe to ride. So I already went ahead and I cleaned this up a little bit just so I could see where my adjustment is and then that is terrible so this is just so I could align my wheel without using the tool so we're gonna back this out three three full turns just so I know where my adjustment is I'm gonna I'm gonna be rushing this so I don't have any of my tools out yet so the goal is to remove this have it out take it to uh cycle gear turns out they don't replace tires or they don't mount and balance tires which sucks because that's the only reason why i had my tire shipped over there so now i gotta take it somewhere else it's saturday shops close early today so we'll see if we could get this done because i don't want to leave my bike on a lift over the weekend that's gonna suck so let's go ahead and back this out three turns remove the belt guard and probably the caliper we'll probably take that out and then and then we'll see if we could remove the uh the the rear wheel and the battery's almost dead on this thing so we'll see how much we can actually record all right so back this out three times remember how many turns you did and then of course we also went ahead and removed the belt guard just to kind of make it things a little bit easier for us let's go ahead and remove the retainer clip get your flathead Put it in there where did that go wow that went far away all right so of course we just i put the flat in between one of these slots and i just put a little bit of pressure we pull that out all right try to keep these things organized so when you put the stuff back together you know where they go uh now we gotta of course break the torque on the axle so that's what we're gonna do next we're gonna get uh, i'm not sure what size this is so i'm gonna go grab that socket break this loose and then we're gonna lift the bike up so we could pull the wheel out. All right, so we broke the tension one and one eighth on the right side and a size 36 on the left side. So of course, breaker bar, half inch ratchet. That's how we got that loose, all right? So just to kind of give you guys uh, a quick update on where we're at. So this is now loose, of course. Now it's time to kind of balance the wheel so there's enough weight on it so I'm not struggling trying to get the axle out. So we have the jacks down. Let's go ahead and get that done. All right, so we have the bike lifted. There's just enough weight on the rear tire that it just, it was moving and then I lowered it back down a little bit until it touched. So we'll see if that's enough to kind of get this out. So let's go ahead and grab our, uh, our mallet and just give this a few whacks and see if it pops out. If it doesn't, we'll lift the bike a little bit more and see if that comes out a little bit easier. All right, so we got that out now. We have the axle out, the bolts. Now we have to lift the bike so we could uh, pull the tire out from underneath the fender. So let's go ahead and lift the tire, the rear of the bike a little bit more. And then of course you'll hear the spacers kind of fall out as soon as we start getting more lift. All right, so we are almost out of here. Now we gotta clear the rear fender. Oh, we gotta remove the caliper. Man, I thought I'd, I'd be able to get it out, cause but look, the caliper hits. Could we, no, we gotta get the caliper out. All right, so we got the caliper bolt, the caliper out. So before you remo remove the axle, it'd be a lot easier for you to remove the caliper. All right, so we're, remove the caliper before you remove the axle okay so do as i say and i would not not as i do all right so now we're able to get the wheel out now we got to lift it a little bit more so we could clear the rear fender uh this there's a lot of torque on these so i was using the smaller bit you got to use the heavier 10 
uh, socket on this one half an inch because this these these suckers are, are really on there so now that we've cleared the caliper we've cleared the belt guard we've cleared the, the belt all we have to do now is lift the lift the rear wheel just enough so we could pull out the the wheel so let's go ahead and get on the other side let's go to our jack stand of course and just lift it give it a little bit more lift until we can clear that rear wheel we're almost out we are almost out we're just about to clear it nope so we still need a little bit more careful remember how your bike is balancing so you got to keep that in mind when you're pulling on it tugging on it if you don't have this strap down you have to be cautious on how you're handling the bike if you don't have the straps on it so here we go so now we have the wheel out and that is how you pull this out i don't think you're supposed to rest this on the side and man these tires were done I think you're supposed to keep it upright for the most part. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the bike a little bit. I'm gonna be gone for a minute, so I'm just just worried about my tools. So I'm gonna clean up the tools, put them away, try to remember what goes where. And then we'll, uh, we'll take this to a shop, see if they're willing to do it today. It's Saturday, it's almost four o'clock. It's already too late. All right, so we got the wheel back now. I took it to get it installed, of course, at my local shop. Cycle Gear does not install, or they don't mount and balance uh, tires, I guess, anymore. Or I, I don't know, maybe my location never did. So now we gotta, of course, put this back on the bike. In case you guys were wondering, how can you order the right tire? These are the measurements right here. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. 150, 70, 18. That last uh, number is the size of the wheel or the rim. The 150 is the width. And 70, I guess that's how thick it is? The height, yeah, 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 I think that's the height. 150 is how wide the, the rear tire is. 70 is how tall it is. And then 18 is, of course, the size of the, uh, of the wheel. So there it is, let's go ahead and put it on. All right, so you make sure you put the uh, the spacer back in while you're lowering the uh, the swing arm. Make sure you put them on both sides. So there's the spacer. There's the spacer right there, right? Okay, Papa Gito. All right, so we went ahead and put a little bit of anti-seize. I believe the wheel and the axle is aligned. If it's not, we'll have to lift it or lower it just a little bit. Let's see how easy it goes in. So I believe we're through the spacer. I think we're all right. Here, let's, let's go and look at the other side. All right, so we went ahead and put the caliper back on, of course. We got to use the bolts, attach that. Yeah, I saw how easily I was able to put the axle back in with the anti-seize and just balancing, lining up the ports, of course, lining up the holes with the axle and, and the swing arm and stuff like that. So we're pretty much at the finish line now. 
Uh, we gotta just torque everything down the spec and then of course we gotta turn these back three times. Three times uh, clockwise to set it to exactly the way I had it before I took the wheel off. So we're gonna finish that up and then we're gonna torque, uh, torque everything back to spec and of course we're gonna put the uh, belt guard back on on the other side. So remember how of course this goes, spacer, uh, the, the brake caliber, and then of course, you know, and then we have the, the retainer that goes right here as well once we get everything kind of set and seated to uh, spec. All right, so you're, all right, it looks like my neighbor's leaf blowing now. So you're gonna set your torque spec for the brake calipers at 28 foot-pounds to 35 foot-pounds, I believe. I'm not a mechanic, so. So that is set to 28 foot-pounds on the calipers. And I believe it's 65 foot-pounds on your axle. So double check your numbers. Of course, if you have the manual, that is, that will help out quite a bit. So let's grab the torque spec and set it to set it to uh, 60 65 uh, we are still quite a ways all right so there we're at 60 there we're just gonna add five more so we should be at 65 there and then I'll go grab the the digital just in case just to make sure we are on the money. All right, so that was set to 65, you guys saw. All right, so now we install the retainer clip and we're pretty much done. I believe that's it. That is all of it. We put these back to where they, they were. So the alignment should be the same. Of course, everything's back set to spec. The calipers, well, there were 28 foot-pounds, 65 on the axle, and we're pretty much all set. I think we're all done now. So let's go ahead and put the rear wheel back down. Remember, give it 50 miles for the for the tire to break in. All right, so don't go crazy on it until 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 you have about 50 miles on the tire just a, as a precaution and we're pretty much done thanks for tuning in thanks for watching yet another video you guys stay out there stay safe life's a risk get out there and ride later